Professor Yao, Professor Lo, Professor Yan, Professor Mok, distinguished speakers and guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is my great pleasure to join you all at today's online science talk of the YHSA Asia. My deepest gratitude goes to Professor Yao, the founder of this award, as well as the three co-organizers, namely ASHK, Yao Mathematical Sciences Center of Tsinghua University and the Institute of Mathematical Sciences of CUHK for continuing the tradition and bringing us another inspiring science talk today. Time flies and it comes to the fifth year of YHSA Asia. Since its first launch in 2019, this important award has been promoting innovation in science and R&D among young talents in secondary schools. We are glad to show our continued support for this award through the Innovation and Technology Fund. I would like to congratulate all the awardees, especially our Hong Kong students, for their outstanding achievements in the competition. The theme of today's science talk is from inspiration to impact. It perfectly illustrates the aspirations of research activities by upholding innovation, originality, creativity, and persistence. This is not an easy journey, but it is definitely a meaningful one. In today's science talk, the word impact is not just about how impactful our R&D outcome is to the world, but also about how life impacts life. The personal stories and valuable advice from our outstanding scientists today will feed and nourish your studies, your career, and your life. Innovation and technology, and in short, lays one of the most important foundations of our city. We have introduced various initiatives to enhance the anti-ecosystem in Hong Kong, thereby strengthening Hong Kong's competitiveness and propelling our economic growth. In order to expand our talent pool, we have been devoting tremendous efforts to nurture, retain, and attract talents to ensure the competitiveness and sustainability of the industry, as well as the future prospect for our young talents. For example, we are doubling the maximum funding to 16 million for the technology transfer office of each specified university to further enhance technology transfer support and expand marketing services, ensuring our R&D outcomes to reach the market and thereby attracting top talents to propel industry growth. Besides, we have officially launched the 10 billion research, academic, and industry sectors one plus scheme, RIS plus in short, in last October to incentivize the transformation and commercialization of outstanding R&D outcomes from our local universities. The result of the first batch applications will be announced in the first quarter of this year, and I'm confident that there are many good projects to look forward to. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hong Kong Anti-Development Blueprint has charted its way forward for the city's anti-development for the next five to 10 years, as well as high expectations in contributing the country's development in science and technology. Let's join hands to build Hong Kong as an international INT center and foster a bright future for our young generation. Before I close, I would like to wish awardees a shining star in your future endeavors and a great success for today's science talk. Thank you.